And definitely this. I guess it was a win. This is a jewelry jar that I got this week. And I wouldn't have gotten this jar if the guy at the Goodwill hadn't volunteered to lower the price. I Did I ask him about a jewelry jar? Yeah, I think I asked him, do you have any jewelry jars? And he said, yeah, just that one. That's the only one left. And then I said, okay, can I see it? And then he says, it's a little overpriced. And then I was like, yeah, it sure is. It looks like a lot of plastic in there. And then he goes, and our pricers have left. And I was like, okay. And then he pops in with, um, then he ch then he says, uh, but I'll let you have it for 20 So I was like, okay, that sounds good. It's marked $39. Ridiculous. So um, he let me have it for 20 So he let me have it for 20 and I get a 30% discount every day. I get a teacher discount every day at the Goodwill. I get a 30% discount every day, teacher discount, Monday through Friday, just about every day. So I've really been frequenting the Goodwill ever since they implemented, I'm going to tear up this ribbon, I don't really care, it's like really stuck to the tape, um, ever since they started doing that discount, it really makes it worthwhile, so pretty much I got this for $16. Here's a cute barrette, that's kind of cute, oh, I really hate tearing, hold on. Let me, let me really tear into this, guys. Yeah. Alright, now it's torn up. So now it's nice and ready. Looks like a lot of plastic like I thought. A little plastic bracelet. Interesting earrings. If I find the pair, that might sell. Really big. I have a mixed metal thing there. You see that? It's not, it's not too bad. This actually looks like a ponytail holder. And here's another little kid's coil bracelet. And here is a real leather braid silver, it says. That's kind of cute. And, okay, here's some pretty earrings. Again, let's put the earrings aside and see if we can find some pairs. No idea what this ribbon is, but it's... Oh, it's something for your hair. I just trashed that. Lots of baby bracelets for baby girls. I may have to give these to my grandchild. Maybe she'll like jewelry one day. <gasps> this one's really cute. It's Christmas. It's a little Christmas theme. That's kind of cute. Oh, that's stretched out. I'm going to put these probably... I have a junk drawer. I'm hoping Margaret does that. She wants to do a D-stash show hoping she does that because I would love to get rid of my boxes of jewelry that I'm rejecting here because people do use them for crafts. All right, here's a little, oh, this looks interesting. Just when we were talking about bone, uh, I think her, her new theme is bone in her jewelry group. And this really looks, it has that veining like ivory. This may be an ivory bracelet. What do you guys think? It really looks like it to me. I know the lighting is horrible in here. <laughs> I'm in my garage right now, and um, I just, I'm just i still unloading what I bought today at the garage sale. This definitely looks like ivory, guys. It feels like it, too. I've had a few ivory pieces, and I have managed to sell them. I think I sold it on Etsy before it was banned on Etsy. It was ba I think it was banned on eBay before it was banned on Etsy, but this is really cute. Oh, it's big. I hate when things are big on me. Bangles are always big on me. This is interesting, too. Is this one of those magnet things? Well, who started doing that? I don't know. It's kind of interesting. And here's a little cheapy bracelet. No biggie. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Oh. These are magnet, too. Little peace signs. Those are interesting. Here's a ring. Let's stick that on. I need a ring on. Don't have my jewelry on right now. I took it off already. Okay, what else? Mickey Mouse. Oh, this is cute. This has to go up right now on Etsy and eBay or somewhere. This is super cute. This, and it's probably battery operated. Yes, it is. And it looks like it's twinkling a little bit. It's some Christmas lights, a Christmas strand necklace with Mickey. 
Oh my gosh, that is super cute and it's lighting up. It's working. That may just sell. Yeah, can you see how those are lighting up? Pretty nice. There's a little battery operated thing. All right, so that's going to go for sale. What else do we have here? Oh, a cute watch. This is from Cool Kids. This is not running right now, but the strap looks nice. Stainless steel back. So that's not bad. I think I can make my $16 back. Here's a Hello Kitty digital watch. The band is nice, too. It's got some daisies. Is this in Rio? So that could probably sell. If I can get a battery in there. I may just put it up for $10 as, as is. Buy at your own risk, right? Here's some more clear beads. I think these probably were supposed to match this, but this is strung a lot nicer. This isn't stretch. The other one is stretch. Okay, looks like the rest is just... Um, <gasps> this is what I did like, though, actually. This is the one I thought, well, you know, I kind of like that little dice thing. I have a thing for dice. I used to play dice. Or whatever it's called. I used to play that with my buddies. Okay. So this is really, really cute, guys. Look at that. It's a dice necklace. Oh, yeah. That'll, that'll really go well in the pinup world. That's uh, a big kind of like number of flow from that show back in the 70s and 80s. Alice doesn't live here anymore. Was that the name of the show? Something like that. But that is really, really cute. These are real dice. They're nice and weighty. Really nice. All right, and here's another earring. I hope I find the mate. Most of the time, the earrings don't have any mates. Here's some Mardi Gras beads or something. It's going back in the donate pile. Cinderella princess with some with the little carriage. That's kind of cute too. Okay. And these rubber neck bracelets. Casa de Esperanza. It's actually a clinic here in Houston. Medical clinic, I believe. All right, more beads. Just little Mardi Gras beads. You know, these are really good also, guys. I may just maybe lock these up that way. Um, people buy these. We used to keep a whole bag full for some of our children, some of our students with autism. They love stemming on them. They love the sound of them and the feel and the texture. So we had like bags and bags that we would give to our students. Toys that they like. They're fidget toys. Oh, uh, this looks like a bracelet someone crocheted. Lots of plastic beads. And some uh, shell beads. Those are kind of interesting. And this just looks like Mardi Gras beads. Oh, this is cute. This is a nice Cinderella beaded necklace. That might sell. Yeah, this is really, really big. Look at that. Long and big. It's a nice long necklace. Well, with Cinderella and then sort of a chandelier style there. Yeah, that one might that one might do well. There's big old beads on there. So that may just do well. All right, so I got two watches. I guess it's not too bad right there. And Hello Kitty usually sells itself, especially if it's Sanrio. It's kind of cute. That's that. Oh, this was a cute necklace, too. This is kind of a little boho thing. And um, it's kind of tangled, though. Let me see what this is. It's just a long beaded be busted though yeah it looks like it's busted so no that's going to be a re donate there on that oh here's a nice one all right this might work this is very nice this is uh some glass beads a glass uh choker and this is really pretty this is kind of a blue a really really um 
pastel blue multi-strand not graduated but multi-strand very nice I do like this this could possibly sell on Etsy or eBay looks like it's vintage because I like the way it's sort of a baguette stone there I don't know if you can see that they had sort of a baguette there it is can you see that it looks like it had a baguette yeah it has baguettes but on this one on one of them it's actually missing it's actually cracked so you can see that it actually had three baguettes at one time and this one still has it though it's a little tangled here and you can't quite see it very well let me see there it is there so yeah this is definitely vintage I can tell just by the the setting of those baguettes and how well made this was put how well it was put together no we don't need a whistle I didn't even see that whistle <laughs> that would have probably turned totally turned me off to the door but yeah not bad not bad oh my gosh a little clip there probably redonate that too and uh, I found something else that was Hello Kitty. Yeah, here it is. This is um, some beaded, a beaded necklace with Hello Kitty on it as well. I don't know, it's kind of more like for a child, but uh, a lot of people do like Hello Kitty. So yeah, I guess you could put it on like that and the Hello Kitty would be right in the center there. The little faces would be in the center. So that's not bad. This is a lanyard. This is actually a nice lanyard. See how thin that is? Lanyards can cause rashes and everything. And I like the little lobster clasp on it too. What does it say here? It says sun disc or, yeah, sand disc. All right, so that's it there. The initial beads too thrown in there. And no match on the earrings at all. All the earrings are mismatched. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> it's a rubber ring. This also could be a little stemming device. <laughs> a fidget toy. God. I wish I would have found the, the mate to this one. That would have been a nice one to put up on eBay. It really would have, especially for a costume, like a gypsy costume. That would have been pretty. But, so yeah, that's it. Oh, here's a nice pearl. It is stretched, but it's very nice. It's got some nice, um, what do you call that? Spacers there, rhinestones. That's pretty. And I think that's it. I think I can get my $16 on this alone because it is Disney. And Mickey is dressed as Santa in each one of these. It's all Mickey. And it is working, so I'm super excited about that. I think I'll list that for 20 bucks and see what happens. And this, this is super cute too. I think that'll do well with the keywords. Pin up. Pin up, rockabilly, that kind of stuff. I think that'll be cute. All right, that is it. And then the glass beads. Yeah, I guess it wasn't too bad for what I paid for it. If I would have paid the 40 I would have been a little upset. I'll only get my $16 back for the glass beads, the watches, the Mickey, and definitely this. I guess it was a win. Let's find out where we can sell ivory or what, because this is definitely ivory. It's got that veining or whatever it is on there. I wish you could see it a little bit better. You probably can't see it very well. But this is definitely ivory. Because I've, I've had some pieces. And uh, so yeah, I guess it is a win-win. As soon as I find out where I can sell it. It's pretty. It really is. Though I don't believe in hunting down ivory. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Yes, it is. I love elephants, and I don't want to see them killed for their tusks anymore now that we're past that. All right, guys, well, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.